Coach John Haskins, big uh, 64-50 win, home win over Flaggo today. Uh, story of the game, it seems like you just outworked them today. Well, they wore us out, though. Uh, we were shorthanded. We were short three perimeter players today, so our rotations were really weird. Uh, kind of played six to seven players uh, Kind of played six the whole second half, uh, but our girls did a good job. They hung in there. I thought they played through as best they could, being tired. We made some silly mistakes when we got tired, uh, but we told the girls before the game, uh, if we win, we're going to win on defense and rebound. And I thought we were pretty good in both those categories. Yeah, again, uh, talk about the first half. Really uh, going to the halftime with a 29-20 advantage. Uh, complete turnaround, really, from what you, probably what you saw down there. Of course, I wasn't at the game, but it just seems like you guys were more into it today. Wow. I think no, no, they, got, they, got, they got us down 11 nothing. and it was. I, I, I just told our girls, and, and we worked on uh, getting the ball in and trying to attack it a little more against the press, and I, we weren't real tentative against it. Now, we weren't real good against it at times, but I, I did, did think we had more of an aggressive mentality attacking their press and attacking their zone, and it helps when you make a few shots. So, uh, yeah, I, I thought our aggressiveness from the start was key. Uh, again, talk, let's talk about some individuals. Uh, although these numbers are unofficial, we're going to have some changes. Uh, Amelia Parton, big 14 points for you, but uh, Taylor Galantine talked about before we got on camera, big 11 rebounds for you. you know, Taylor does a lot of the unsung stuff. She, she did a good job defensively on 42, and, and not that 42 didn't get some shots up, but Taylor made her shoot over. Uh, she didn't give her a lot of easy stuff, and she didn't foul and put her on the free throw line. So I thought she did a good job defensively. Uh, you know, Amelia made some shots. I just thought Kemp played it all around. Uh, well, ga good game. Uh, she she guarded one uh, who really hurt us uh, last time, uh, Shelby Lindsay, and uh, we just really limited her shot attempts, and, and we did a good job on her. Uh, sometimes Kemp had to uh, guard uh, Shorty, the point guard number eleven. Uh, did a good job with assists, handling the pressure, making some shots. I think she made a three, so and rebounding as she always does. So I thought J Jasmine had an outstanding game. Now talk about uh, three teams come in today, tied for the last spot out of the PC PBC East. Uh, talk about what this win means for you, especially with two games left. It means the next one means something, you know, or, or means more. I told the girls you messed up because that makes a Wednesday a real big game down at Francis Marion. <clears throat> I didn't think we were very good defensively here against Francis Marion. We played well offensively, we just weren't very good defensively. So uh, it makes that a big game. You know, you got a bunch of teams trying to vie for that last spot. Uh, we're kind of all neck and neck. The, the one thing is we've got to finish two games. We've got to finish a game up, excuse me, on Lander because they've got the tiebreaker. They beat us twice. Right. Uh, so, you know, we split with Armstrong, and if we can split with when France Marion, split with them, uh, you know, then it's kind of head-to-head. -head, so we'll see what happens.